before I became a musician, I lost one of my eye. And I remember after losing my eye, it had a deformity mm -hmm. that looked very bad and terrible. And I remember even walking in the streets of Nairobi and everyone looking at me in a very weird way. And then one day I met a white guy in the streets of Nairobi, Pale Karibu Nandos, and the guy was like, hey, young man, I think I can help you. And he comes, how are you going to help me? I can be here. We can make sure that you get surgery for free and we try to fix your eye. What's up, good people? Welcome back. We are right here with uh, the one and only Daddy Owen. Daddy Owen, karibu sana. Asante, asante sana. Niko mzima kabisa. Mama shukuru. Yeah. Labda tuambie hivi leo shughuli gani imetuleta hapa? Eh, first and foremost, eh, I want to apologize. Eh? Mm -hmm. Ilikuwa hii press conference ilifaa kwa Monday and then eh, nika cancel impromptu. Mm -hmm. First and I, I just want to say sorry for for everyone to apologize to everyone mm -hmm. when you nili cancel and all that. Mm -hmm. And then today I just want to thank you. For making time to come here, mm -hmm. I know it was a short notice, but to kuapa sisi wote, tunafanya kitufiti. So the main reason for this uh, press conference is uh, just to talk about my event mm -hmm. that in, in, itakuwa this Saturday, uh, that is uh, March 9th mm -hmm. at the Carnival Grounds this coming Saturday. Mm -hmm. Na ni event na ito Malaika Disability Walk. Mm -hmm. I have a foundation called Malaika Disability Foundation mm -hmm. whereby we create awareness on the plight of uh, persons living with disability. At the same time, we fundraise or we uh, give free uh, surgery mm -hmm. for children who are born with physical correctable disabilities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Sato, tunakuja tu just to enjoy, to have fun because most of uh, people who are living with disability sometimes wana kosanga a moment, am an event that is inclusive enough for all of them to feel wako catered for ama waneza kuja participate. Mm -hmm. So Sato tumekuja pale tako na na walk, yo walk tunafanya place at least even if you have a wheelchair, even if you una crawl on the ground, even if you are, you, are, you, are, you are visually impaired and all that, to make sure that to provide good security and good pathways for everyone to participate and I feel included in the society. Uh -huh. yeah. and what should people expect on that day? Because uh, uh, it may hype sana. Yeah. And yeah. I know so many people have expectations. Yes. What should we expect? Yeah, it's a, number one, it's very interesting because to uh, na walk in the morning. I can give like a, 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 um, I just go through the, 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 the schedule, how the timetable looks like. Eh? So arrival time, but there was one of the couple because you know when you're doing a walk, utak fanya kama jui mwakasana. That's the reason why orona zanga subui. So arrival time ni 8 a.m. or sata kuapo. By 9 a.m. Uh, the CS uh, Honorable Florence Bore, who is the CS wa wa labor and uh, social protection she'll be there now the most important thing why we included her because the disability in a fall under her docket that's why she's the one who's coming to flag off the event so at a flag of the event at around 9 a.m then from there was someone to another walk kuzunka from carnival grounds tunazunka around uru gardens tunapaka bypass then we come back uh, the walk might take longer because we have to take care of everyone because we just kill them at the same pace. So it'll take longer to say one to two hours just to do the walk. Then after the walk, we're coming back to the carnival grounds. At the carnival grounds now, we have events, we have performances. Like Monaco, we have a list of artists from Guardian Angel, Timeless Noel, Moji Short Baba, all these guys, DJ Euphoric. At the same time, we'll take care, apart from just the household names, to have so many uh, uh, musicians and performance while we have different forms of disability. We have Deno, we have Babushka, we have DJ Euphoric, we have DJ Wiwa. Uh, kama uju, DJ, DJ Wa is a, 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 a young lady mwenye kona form disability ana, ana, ana mikono but ana, ana chezanga na migu so kutakona DJ Wa kutakona DJ Smollett who is a, a DJ who is living with albinism so at the end of the day we just want to showcase that as much as people are living with any form of disability they still have as long as you create a chance for them all of them can come there and showcase what they what their talent is about mm -hmm. yeah yeah maybe uh, maybe have you involved the president in uh, that particular project so a uh, uh, government have, has protocols eh? yeah. and uh, one of the most important protocols that uh, we follow under the disability act 
cause this is like a foundation we are under the disability act number one we make sure that we invite the national council for person living disability because that's the board i the organization that uh, is uh, has been formulated by the government to take care of person with living disability in the country so the ceo of national council will be there and then number two the national council or anyone under disability they form in they they, they all fall in a ministry and the ministry in the ministry the honorable Florence Bore, who, will be, who is the CS, and she's the one who's coming to flag it off. Mm -hmm. So, under protocol, I think we follow the, the, the right procedures mm -hmm. to make sure that everyone is covered, and the CS, of course, represent the government. Uh -huh. yeah. You are the founder and CEO of Malika Disability Foundation. Yeah. Initially, if you would ask anyone out there, they know that you are as a gospel artist. Yeah. Labda, probably you have stated it uh, before, but you can tell us, uh, Labda, what pushed you to uh, coming up with uh, such a foundation? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very interesting. I've been working on a foundation for so many years. I've had my foundation since 2012. Hey, I'm a, I'm a foundation. No, I've been having foundation for the past like 10 years, more than 10 years. Yeah. And uh, the reason why I started Malaika Disability Foundation is because before I became a musician, I lost one of my eye. And I remember after losing my eye, it had a deformity that looked very bad and terrible. And I remember even walking in the streets of Nairobi and everyone looking at me in a very weird way. And then one day I met a white guy in the streets of Nairobi and the guy was like, hey, young man, I think I can help you. And he comes, how are, you, how are you going to help me? We can make sure that you get surgery for free and we try to fix your eye. So he went and did surgery. It was for free. And uh, after the surgery, the guy was like, it was a long surgery by the way. After the surgery, the guy was like, uh, unfortunately, you won't, able, uh, you won't be able to see again, but uh, at least aesthetically, we fix your eye so now it doesn't look scary as it used to look. Mm -hmm. And since that time I was like, okay, I know the plight of a person living with disability. Because for me it was just an eye and everyone was looking at me in a very weird way and everyone treated me differently. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So I could understand, I could feel and understand exactly how persons living with disability, what they face each and every day. Mm -hmm. And the word Malaika derived from that guy because I felt like that was just an angel who came because he didn't know who I am and he was like, hey, let me just try to help you and fix your eye for free and everything was done for free mm -hmm. so my, my the theme of the of, of wording of my foundation came from a guy who i met in the street and i always feel like he's just an angel who came and made sure that i got surgery for free uh -huh. that's why i named my foundation malaika disability foundation mm -hmm. it used to be called malaika trust then i changed the name from malaika trust to malaika disability foundation mm -hmm.